Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to correctly replace and code in, program or clone one of these ESP modules or ABS pump as most people call them. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a decent diagnostic tool. I'm personally using Top Don Phoenix Lite 2. This is a two year old tool which cost me 640 pounds. I bought it from Amazon and you're going to need a replacement pump. Now you don't have to buy a brand new one. You can buy a second hand off eBay, which is what I've done. This one cost me 40 pounds. It is from a Vito W639. This is a Viano 639. It's a 2007. This one was 2010. Um, so they're exchangeable as long as you make sure you match the part numbers. Doesn't matter if it's a petrol engine or a diesel engine, whether it's the 2.1 or 3 liter V6. It's going to work, it's going to be the exact same process. So what we're essentially doing, we're creating a backup file. So it's very important that you're able to communicate with the unit you're trying to replace. So we create a backup file, we save it on this diagnostic tool. Then we replace the unit, we bleed the system, and then we upload file from the old unit to the new one via this diagnostic tool. So probably sounds too complicated, believe me, it's going to be a piece of cake and you're gonna enjoy this. I searched and searched for decent information on the internet. Um, I couldn't find a diesel tutorial and I decided to create one for everyone, especially if you're using top tone diagnostic tool, you're gonna to find this very useful, but um, doesn't matter if you have Otel, uh, Snap-on or anything else, it's gonna be a very, very similar process. So this is called variant coding. Now, uh, before we go into any detail, I wanna thank you for watching my videos, for supporting the channel. If you do like the content, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, we're gonna have a ton of content on this platform W639. So if you like what you see, stick around and I'll see you shortly. So we're gonna start the procedure of the creation of the backup file by going to auto scan. So um, it will take a few seconds for the diagnostic tool to extract the VIN number and to communicate with the, with the vehicle. Now, if you've got a Vito Viano, if you're using one of these top dons, um, it's going to find it as a sprinter. So, um, as I said, wait for the process to finish and then follow my steps. So, after you have found the correct vehicle, go to quick access. The tool is establishing communication um, with the vehicle. Go to automatically search. You can go manual selection. Um, I find it a bit quicker. So my uh, vehicle is 2007, go before 2008. Um, click on OK. Um, diesel engine, right hand uh, steering, transmission control module because we've got an automatic uh, gearbox here. System selection, go to chassis. ESP, Electronic Stability Program, click OK. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to Coding Backup Reserve on the bottom right corner. So click on that and then click on Backup Variant Coding. Tap OK to connect Diagnostic Unit to the network. Now this is a very, very important step here. Do not leave any gaps. Use um, letters and numbers. Don't use any special characters. So what I um, suggest you do is um, use small letters. Um, in my case, I'm gonna basically uh, type in Viano because this is the model of my, of my van. And then it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So I've got two other files that I've created as a test. So put in the name of the file. As I said, use letters and numbers, no gaps, no special characters, and then click OK. Now, when you go into restore variant coding, you're gonna see all the backup file. So this is the process of creating the backup file. Now, at this point, you can leave your diagnostic tool aside and start doing some mechanical work. So remove the old unit, replace it with the new one, bleed the system, bleed it carefully, do it a couple of times, and then come back to this process of um, the uploading and the cloning of the old unit with the new one. Go to Restore Variant Coding, select your file. Are you sure to recover the latest coding state information of the control unit? This will change the current. 
click yes 